As a patriot, I love freedom of speech. Who loves freedom of speech? You know, it's, it's, I love freedom of speech, um, except when it comes to pride flags in schools, teaching history. Right-wing audience members have zero idea they're getting made fun of by this school board speaker. I'm here today because uh, a second grade teacher thought it was appropriate to teach my child about pronouns. Pronouns. I was taught that there were only two pronouns, but thanks to the woke left, there are now a hundred pronouns. I confronted the teacher and said, in our house, there are only two pronouns and that they need to respect our beliefs. Um, uh, there's a whole list of books I want to ban from the school library. Please show um, respect. I want to ban kneeling at football games. Um, you know, you know, the point is we need to protect our children, okay, which is why we need more security in our schools. We need cops patrolling the hallway. We should also hire cops as teachers. And, um, and the students, they should also be cops, like in uh, 21 Jump Street. Who saw that? Yeah. You know, I'm, uh, I'm here today because I care about children. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, Mr. Felicia. I'm here today because I care about children. I care about children so much that I'm against the WIC program, universal pre-K, uh, any form of gun control. Um, I just, you know, I'm going to end out by uh, just giving a big shout out to school choice. Who likes school choice? You know, it's a great way to take money out of public education, put it into private companies. It worked so well with private prisons. And, uh, you know, just can't wait to put it, you know, into the public school system. So, you know, I just can't wait to take, um, you know, we need to, you know, get back to the fundamentals, you know. We need to take down the pride flag, put the American flag back up, and we need to like force every child to salute it in the morning, right? That makes sense. Yeah. Thank you. This is a spirit of antichrist that's going on right here. And this gotta stop. And God's gonna have his way. Like I said, he loves each and every one of you, but he wants you to come to him. I don't care if you make fun of me. God is immutable. He can't change. His promises are in the Bible. He loves each and every one of you, but he hates sin. And we are sinning against him. We are sinning against him. Does that not sink in? Ma'am, please address me and the crowd. God is the creator of this entire universe, whether you believe it or not. And he's going to have his way. He loves all of you but this country is going the wrong way. Does anybody see that? Please put your feelings aside for a second. We're going the wrong way.